Okay, next month inside Caesar's Palace, you'll see masterpieces by Picasso, Rembrandt, Renoir, and one very talented local artist. Yes, that is true. It is the second annual Made in Vegas Art Competition. It is underway right now at Park West Gallery. The top 10 finalists have been revealed. Joining us today from Park West Gallery, Isabella Kowalski. She's the uh, assistant gallery director. Welcome in and thank, thank you for you. bringing this beautiful art. Of course, thank you for having us. I'm so glad we get to show it off today. Yeah, we're going to talk about this in just a moment, but tell me all about the gallery, uh, where it's located and how long you've been open. Yes, so we have been open in the form shops of Caesars Palace for about 18 months now. Um, so we're mm. close to two years. We're very excited and we're on the second floor above Joe's and we actually have a second location downstairs as well. So two locations in the form shops and as as a gallery, we've been open for more than 50 years. So wow. we have roots all over. We are international, but wow. we are so happy to be here in Vegas for loving it. Okay, so we're down to the top 10 finalists in yes. the contest. So what will the winner receive? So the winner of the contest will receive a three-month exhibit at the gallery mm -hmm. and a chance to be shown all over the world uh, eventually. And so people who come into the forum shops will be able to see their work, and that's where you can actually vote. This is, re mm. it's really exciting. I think adding to the excitement is the fact that these are all local artists. Yes. Um, they'll also, the winner will be on display inside Caesar's Palace, uh, amongst other great works of art that are, that are on display yeah. there. This art you brought in here is from last year's winner. Tell us all yes. about what's, what's on stage with So us this here. is Kat Tatz. She is extraordinary. Um, something we really loved about her work when we saw it was the uniqueness of the fact that she expands her art onto the frames. So mm -hmm. we didn't have any art that had that and it's resonated so well with our collectors um, and everyone is loving her work. So we have her on display as well mm -hmm. along with our top 10 artists that are out there to be voted on. Oh, She's in neat. quite a, a predicament right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, I know. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Very surreal. Okay, so for the people who aren't art experts, yes. what can they expect to see at the gallery? Of course. So you don't have to be an art expert. Actually, our motto is that we have art for everyone, for every stage of your collecting process, mm. or if you just want to come learn a little bit more. Mm. So we walk in and you see Picasso's, Rembrandt's, Dali's, all the masters. Mm -hmm. And then as you wait, make your way back, you'll actually see more contemporary artists as well. So you don't have to be an expert. You just have to have a love for it. That's so yeah. neat. Do you sell art in the, in the gallery? We do, yes. So it's a museum well? and gallery, so you can ah. collect as well. Oh, it's so interesting. I love this, right? I know. Here, this can we take a look at this? This is so unique. Um, the frame really is a big part of this yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. So in that one, she obviously brings it to life with the roses. It has a bit of an Alice in Wonderland mm -hmm. feel. And it's just, it's something so unique and special. And we're hoping to find that with our new winner this year. Yeah, really cool. Hey, we want people to know that they can be a part of this contest yes. and vote. Again, guys, 10 local artists. Wow. Um, you had many submissions, though, like in the So hundreds. many submissions, yes. I think we had over 400 submissions. Yeah. Um, word got out. Obviously, last year was a huge success, and so mm -hmm. people wanted to be included with it this year. And mm -hmm. it showed, and it was really hard to narrow it down to 10. So you can imagine how hard it's going to be to narrow down just to one. So definitely come in and vote because that's going to have a huge impact. And they can come all the way till September 11th? We yes. can vote? All Correct. Of us can vote? So voting okay. will close when the gallery closes uh, at 9 p.m. on September 11th. I Wonderful. love it. You're doing something very unique, very old school with the voting, too, guys. You can't vote online. Yeah. This is not Ooh. a virtual thing. You actually have to go to the gallery to vote. That is uh, correct. Yeah. So we want you to experience <laughs> the art live. It's mm -hmm. just so different when you see it up close and the texture and the detail, the brush strokes, all of it, it makes such a huge difference. So come in live and vote. Um, if you have any questions, we'll be there to help you. Wonderful. Real quick, before we go, we're going to tell people uh, again where the, the gallery is located. Can we take a look at this last piece too? Um, I love the little animals and little bees on this. Yes, she's actually actually really well known for her whimsical animals mm -hmm. and her people as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even know what character it is, and that's the beauty of it. And again, the, the name of last year's winner, the Cat artist? Cat Tats.
cat tats. Beautiful. Oh, so creative. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll fun. Fan. It's very fun. Uh, you can see even more fun, beautiful pieces of art. Guys, vote for your favorite artist now through September uh, 11th. That's a Sunday at Park West Gallery at the Forum Shops inside Caesars Palace. Uh, check them out on Twitter and Facebook as well, Park West Gallery. Thank yes. you, guys. Yeah, thank you.